On this week's show, we'll have to just go without her and she'll have to just get a bow back. Hi, we're the Logans! And it's almost New Year! We're nearly at the end of a decade. Oh, that's a scary thing, isn't it? I think it's really exciting. We've learned a lot, we've had so many wonderful experiences, and we've also had some really difficult times. Mm -hmm but we've grown stronger as a band yeah. and as a family as well. <laughs> At the beginning of the year, we had a wonderful opportunity to go to Venice and play during the Biennale, which is a huge arts festival. We were invited to perform at Richard DeMarco's art exhibition and the exhibition featured artists from all over the world. And one of them was Andrew Mark. So none of us had ever been to Venice. We shared an, an apartment with our mum and our brother and had to travel every day to the exhibition. But we travelled by boat, which was something new for they, us. I think they call it a water bus or a water taxi. A water Uber, darling. Yeah, Taylor got off at the wrong stop. Seriously, we just got off the boat and so we walked through here, up there for, what, 30 seconds and <laughs> Taylor's not with us. We're just, we'll have to just go without her and she'll have to just get a bow back. This is, this is Taylor in a nutshell. I just realised she's got a lunch with her too. Wait a minute. Really, the real reason that they realised I wasn't there is because I had all the sandwiches. I now have to go find them in Venice. <laughs> no! Come on, I've been lost for so long. Now, though, the question is that how did you manage to miss a stop? I'd, I'd had enough and I was trying to run away and start a new life in Venice. Ugh. Have you ever tried to release your own music? It is not as difficult. <laughs> what? <laughs> she just... <laughs> that wasn't me! That was not me! Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. The difficult part was us. Um, Taylor's own organisation inside their own head was the problem. Yeah, Taylor, no. let's blame Taylor. The difficult part was trying to find a day that all of our musicians could play and there were also some record label executives who wanted to hear us who were available sometimes, not available at other times. So we had to cancel and rebook and cancel and rebook. Even just getting the basics down of printing CDs is hard, whether it's getting your artwork. Choosing the, choosing the order that the songs go in, that took us about six months. Yeah. Four then, songs. Apparently there's a difference between duplication and replication. Oh, we found that what out. What is that? Yep. We found that out after we printed the CD. On the well. day that they were going into the shop. Taylor even remembered to bring her guitar. Wow. That doesn't happen often. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what, what is in between you? It looks like a coffin. Is that Leona? <laughs> Leona? <laughs> To thank all of our fans for coming to our shows this year and just to celebrate a wonderful year that we've had, we wanted to record Old Lang Syne, which is about true friendship and connection and it's also Scottish. We wanted to find a location that felt really, really Scottish and film there and we came across the most beautiful farmhouse called Armberg Cottage and part of the deal was that we got to go and feed and look after all of the most beautiful animals you have ever seen. There were horses, alpacas, sheep, highland cows, dogs, cats, goats, goats, pigs, everything. Chickens that I thought were dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Leona thought that one of the chickens was a dog. <laughs> it's that it a is. dog? <laughs> like this is where Leona shows like her city girl. She went up to a fence I'm not kidding. <laughs> there was chickens behind it and she was like, come here, I found the dogs. I didn't uh, have my glasses on and it was far away. There's a big beautiful pink pig called Tammy Swinnett, <laughs> who just loved belly rubs. Oh, she be, oh. <laughs> oh. Gorgeous pig <laughs> So we were trying to walk the horses, but the horses ended up walking us. It was kind of like sea biscuit, um, only nothing like it at all. Actually, <laughs> it. it was more like tea biscuit. 
Right, who's the brave one? I'll hold it. Oh. <laughs> I was really good at feeding the sheep. Taylor and Leona, not so much. The sheep had their heads in their buckets and were pulling them along. I nearly fell over it's multiple the times. Best part of the whole day. I think she just ate everything in it. Oh, oh she's not that. Oh, you, she's not you, happy. You, you get Leona. Hands up if you think we should get like a group sheep. I think it should be a mascot. Should all the acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all the acquaintance be forgot for old lines? Two thousand and nineteen has been a really important year for us and just seeing how diverse our fan base are, whether that's age or gender, whatever it is, and how when you accept people just as they are, it really enriches your life. My hope for 2020 is that we take all of the experiences that we've had as a band, the good ones and especially the bad ones, mm -hmm. and we learn from them and we just gather momentum and we do some serious business. My plan for 2020 is to get strong <laughs> and lift Tammy Sonet over my head. <laughs> Seriously though, I do wish that us and everyone else has a really happy and healthy 2020. Happy New Year! La, 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 la.